Hello kiddos, Sir E is here and for this video, we're going to talk about the first part of electric motor, the magnetic effect of a current. <laughs> All throughout this lesson, I-discuss natin o i-describe natin ang magnetic field line ng mga sumusunod. So, meron tayong three cases. The first one is a conductor, which is a straight wire. Second, a flat coil. And lastly, ang tinatawag nating solenoid. In this lesson, we will understand the magnetic patterns of the following cases. Para makita rin natin later on o ma-apply din natin yung concept sa electric motor. Let's start with around a straight wire. Consider a straight current carrying wire placed vertically, nakatayo, through a sheet of cardboard. And it looks like this. Kung makikita ninyo, ang direction ng current ay papataas as symbolizes by this pink arrow. And the magnetic field pattern that is produced by this straight wire is described as concentric circles. And it appears like this. Ganito ang itsura ng magnetic field ng isang current carrying straight wire. Tatandaan natin, the magnetic field is stronger closer to the wire. That's why the circles here are much closer. So therefore, signifies stronger magnetic field. And as it moves away from the wire, it has lesser magnetic field. So how can we predict the direction of the magnetic field in this scenario or in a straight wire. Eh sir, bakit kailangan nating malaman ang direction? Dahil pag inaral na natin ng electric motor, mahalagang alam natin kung anong direction ng magnetic field upang malaman din natin kung paano nagpa-function or anong magiging movement ng electric motor natin. And for this case, we're going to use the so-called right-hand grip rule. Itaas ang kanang kamay at gawin ito. Parang naka-thumbs up. As if we will hold the wire like this, tatandaan natin na ang thumb ay nagsisignify ng direction ng current. At sa example natin, it is going up. So, it is pointing upward. Now, when you check your fingernails, the direction of your fingernails, ganun yung magiging direction ng magnetic field. And in this case, when the current is upward, then the magnetic field is counterclockwise. Paano kaya kapag opposite or downward ang current? So, ipoposition natin ang thumb pababa. At may kita ninyo na ang fingers natin ay magmumove clockwise. And that will be the direction of the magnetic field. So tatandaan ang right hand grip for a straight wire. For most of standardized tests or quizzes or some other references, they are using symbols just like this one, like a dot. And... If you have this symbol, it means that the current is flowing out of the plane of the paper or towards you. So, ibig sabihin, i-point natin ang thumb natin papunta sa atin. So, tatandaan lang, pag dot or O, out. Outward. E anong magiging magnetic? field pattern natin kapag towards me or going out of the paper. Kung makikita ninyo, it is 
anti-clockwise or counter-clockwise. Para lang yang current moving upward. So, tinuro mo sa sarili mo ngayon. So, it is counter-clockwise. And that is, again, the direction of the magnetic field. How about the other one? So, we use the symbol X. And it indicates that the current is flowing into the plane or away from you. So, we will just point our thumb away from us. Parang ganyan. So, kung may kita ninyo, ang direction ng daliri mo, pag ginawa mo to ay clockwise. So, parang downward lang na current, then it twist mo lang na ganyan. So, they are clockwise. And it looks like this. We have to remember that the direction of the magnetic field of a current carrying wire reverses when the direction of the current is reversed. So ito yung sagot dun sa isa sa mga tanong kanina. Tatandaan lang, pag pinalitan natin ang direction ng current, nagbabago din ang direction ng magnetic field. Second thing that we have to remember what if the current is increased? And this is the case. The current of the first wire is lesser than the second wire. And so, its magnetic field will look like this. Then for the wire with a stronger current, like this. Kung naaalala ninyo, pag mas malapit ang concentric circle, Sa isa't isa, or sa bawat isa, mas malakas ang magnetic field. Therefore, we can conclude that the strength of the magnetic field of a current carrying wire increases when the current is increased. Pag mas maraming kuryente na dumadaloy sa isang wire, mas malakas ang magnetism neto or magnetic field neto. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>